Hello everybody, this is Karen Jane Casey on the podcast Moments with Karen. It's on this podcast that I share bits and pieces of my past and present moments um, or not just my life but other sources that I've come along and the whole purpose is for us to learn something, to have helpful information, entertainment, encouragement and to find joy in our lives. Well, Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas and my topic, episode topic is, it's about Christmas. <laughs> Many of us are celebrating Christmas today. So again, Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas time that we have often a combination of blended, colliding um, celebrations. The secular world mixed with the religious scene, whatever religious scene it might be. We have Santa Claus, we have Mrs. Claus, the elves and the sleigh and the reindeer working hard at the North Pole for good girls and boys to get presents and wishes to come true. And at home we have decorations, decorations outside, decorations on the inside, bright lights, wreaths, snowmen, Santas, poinsettias, I'm getting kind of tired, trees, ornaments, and topped with a star, and gifts at the bottom, of course. We even have festive foods for the occasion. We can surely gain some weight on Christmas Day. And there's always chocolate candy and candy canes, oh my goodness. And we also have many believers who have set aside the date, this date and time, to, of Christmas to remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus and what he means to us. With that, we have the nativity scene, we have baby Jesus, Moses and Mary, did I say Moses? I meant Joseph and Mary, and the shepherds, the star, the three wise men, the story about the birth of Jesus. There are other holidays running along with Christmas during the month of December. And their celebrations are also specific. For example, Hanukkah, an eight-day Jewish celebration, and others. I would say more about all of the types of celebrations that we have, but then I would soon it would soon become obvious that I'm not very knowledgeable about all of them. Maybe I should know more about them and be more aware. But it's exhausting, isn't it? People are running around like crazy, shopping and shopping and well, this is Christmas Day. Hopefully today, finally, we can relax and have fun, enjoy the family. Not too awfully long ago, people used to argue about their specific celebration versus others. But nowadays, I think we all tend to be more respectful of each other's ways of doing things and what we believe and how we celebrate our holidays. If you don't believe what one person does, at least respect is there. I remember the song, it's called Christmas with a capital C. I think that was right in the midst of when it made a big, it was a big deal, whether you said happy holidays, or if you said Merry Christmas, or if you said anything regarding Hanukkah or any other holiday, any other celebration. But now, like I said, I think people are more relaxed and accepting of each other's beliefs. Most folks choose to be kind and loving with each other, and regardless of our differences in beliefs. And I think that's proven because there are more donations during Christmas time than any other time of year. Donations among all groups. Well, for this episode, I simply would like to concentrate on sharing what the Bible tells us about the birth of the Messiah, also called Emmanuel and Jesus. In Hebrew, his name is Yeshua, meaning the Lord is salvation. Did you know that there were at least 333 specific predictions within the Old Testament about the coming of the Messiah, about the coming of Jesus Christ? Did you know that? And the world was looking for Jesus for many years before his birth. Well, but the amazing fact about that is 
that all of those prophecies, all 333 prophecies, were fulfilled. That's, that's amazing. Traditionally, if my podcast falls on December 25th, I read the story of the birth of Jesus to you only, only for a few of the chapters. So I hope that you'll sit back, relax, and enjoy while you listen. Today we can begin in Luke chapter 1, verse 26. Christ's birth announced to Mary. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? The angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of Man. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month of her who has, was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Luke 2 verses 1 through 20 Christ born of Mary And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, every one to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Glory in the Highest Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said unto them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them in heaven into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, 
Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which is which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Well, you'll need to go need to go further yourselves reading to get the complete story, including about the three wise men who followed the star to come and worship baby Jesus. As wonderful as the birth of Jesus was, he did not come to the world simply to fulfill prophecy. There was so much more to his birth. While on earth, he taught us everything we need to know about our Heavenly Father, about the character of Jesus Himself, and about the Holy Spirit. He taught us our way to receive salvation and about spending an eternity with Him. We have choices to make. We can decide to turn to God directly, tell Him that we believe in Jesus. We believe in His birth, His crucifixion, and His resurrection. We can accept him as our Lord and Savior. And I encourage you to read the Word of God for your answers, especially I would begin with uh, the book of John in the New Testament. Speaking of John, John 3.16 is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And John 14, 6 says, Jesus said himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Well, I hope you'll join me in my faith-based podcast, Turn to God with Karen and Abundant Living with Karen, where we go deeper into the Word of God. We learn more and more about Jesus and about handling challenges in life, temptations, and living the peaceful and joyful life of a believer. I hope you enjoyed this episode on Moments with Karen. It was a little different than the usual, but then I'm not doing a podcast on Christmas all the time either. <laughs> this is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, domestic violence advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Moments with Karen is available every Wednesday morning at 7 where we explore past and present moments to find lessons, encouragement, entertainment, and joy in life. As I mentioned earlier, I have two faith-based podcasts that are available also on stormtalk365radio.com. You know, you can turn to stormtalk365radio.com and go down the listing and simply click on which of the podcasts you would like to hear from. Turn to God with Karen, Monday mornings at 6.30. Essentially, it is about overcoming life challenges. Abundant Living with Karen, Tuesday mornings at 7, where we share biblical principles and good news of Jesus. The platform for all the podcasts is Spreaker.com. You can simply Google the podcast by name and then click on which episode you'd like to hear. We're also available on iTunes, Twitter, Alexa on Amazon, hosted by iHeartRadio and Spotify. And you can also go to Karen Jane Casey on YouTube to see videos of all the podcasts. If you go there, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> One more thing is I have my website available, KarenJaneCasey.com. That's C-A-R-I-N-J-A-Y-N-E-C-A-S-E-Y. -E -E and I, I would love for you to contact me through this website and give me any suggestions and any feedback you might have. But also, when you go there, 
you will see information about my books. My Dear Rosa Jean, my first novel was very suspenseful and dramatic, and it was sharing about overcoming and healing. Mystery at Candace Bay, it is a real page turner, entertaining and encouraging. Granny babysits the mischievous five. That was a lot of fun writing that one. It's a fun children's chapter book, great for kids and for grown-ups. And it also encourages patience with children when they misbehave. My books are available at Amazon.com and Kindle and Barnes & Noble Nook. Also, when you go to my website, you will find in valuable information and statistics about overcoming domestic violence. Well, thank you and Merry Christmas.